I love successful people, love them, watch them, study them, mix with them. Always fascinates me when you turn the heat up to its highest extreme. Some people float to the top and it's usually the same people. So you watch their behaviour patterns and their personality types and you learn stuff. You've heard of A-type people, haven't you? A-people generally considered ambitious, very fast moving. When things slow down, they, 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 they tap, tap their pen on the table and their knee goes like, and their foot goes like this because things aren't going fast enough. And type A's hate red traffic lights. They go down 17 sides, you get there at the same time, but at least they were doing something, you know, they were involved. Type A's, they hate cues, they refuse to line up. Type A males, easy to type yourself as an A male because type A males always push the flash button on the toilet before they finish peeing. I mean they do, you know, they're halfway through and they're going like this because they think it's going to happen faster. For women, a bit more difficult to do, a bit more difficult to do. So A people are like this, you know. B people, a bit more laid back, you know, she'll be right mate. Can't see a hassle myself. Hmm. I reckon if we leave it long enough, it'll fix itself. No good at business bees, but geez, they live a long time. Then you have C people. Very hard to pick C's. They look good on the outside, but on the inside, they're stewing all their pressures, fears, jealousies, problems. They internalise stuff so they never get things off their chest. That's dangerous long term. So where should you be in your job of work? Maybe a mixture of this and this, but not too much of that. Now it's interesting to me that in the Western world, our world, there are not too many of you guys, we don't work in the fields of the morning, do we? We're in offices, factories, shops, cars, trucks, and so our behaviour patterns start to come this way. And the more like this you become, the more chance you have of developing this chronic A syndrome, and that's medically dangerous, right? And it seems to me that the bigger the city you live in, the more A you become, you know? Brisbane, Melbourne, Sydney, Chicago, New York. Even when they laugh, they go, ha, ha, ha. I mean, this chronic A syndrome, it's dangerous for your health. We know that the A's are more likely to have a heart attack. The B's, they never get anything. C. C's have a higher risk of internal diseases like cancers. Do you know that? People say, mate, you can't prove that, doctor. I says, I know I can't prove it, but I'm right. Interesting, huh? So how much pressure are you putting on yourself? Are you this, are you this, are you this? Are you affecting your own health by the way you act and react to things in your life? Think about it, huh?